ಚರಣ ಕಾಯಜಂ ಕರ್ಮಜ ಶ್ರವಣನಯನಜ ಮಾನಸ ವಾಪರಾಧ ವಿಹಿತ ಸರ್ವೇತಸ್ವ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಕರುಣಾಧೆ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಕರುಣಾಧೆ ಹ್ರೀಮಹಾದೇವ It's a, it's a great privilege that we have uh, Baba with us and Acharya Ji. <laughs> Probably there's nobody in the country who doesn't know about Baba Ramdev, we will leave him alone. But uh, what Acharya Ji has created in this country in the form of this Patanjali brand, in a matter of just about probably twelve years or thirteen years, is it? Twelve, thirteen years' time, it's become one of the biggest brands in the country. <laughs> Bringing a totally new dimension to India's business, over two billion dollar business and uh <laughs> See, he's the CEO, look at him <laughs> <laughs> So, CEO without salary, CEO without suit, <laughs> without jacket and without tie. This is a… this is a… an exemplary model of a desi company, an Indian company really doing well <laughs> They're not just selling desi ghee, this is a… a desi brand <laughs> which uh, I mean, It is something that the business community in the world, particularly in India, has to learn that with such simplicity but with absolute devotion towards what you're creating, what can be created is so phenomenal. In this FMCG arena where they are, as far as I know, I don't think no company in the country in a matter of ten, twelve years' time has become a two billion dollar company as they have become and they have the largest food processing industry in the world. <laughs> so, these are things everybody sees, the figures are out, in the economic numbers are out, everybody knows these things, but what people do not know is, uh, I had the privilege of uh, visiting their lab, what they're creating there. They have kind of documented seventy-two thousand medicinal plants which has never been done before in a most scientific manner. <laughs> Look at the simplicity, one man is shirtless, another man <laughs> like this. <laughs> this man is uh, production and execution, this man is marketing <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> this is… this is something that India has to learn from. I've been speaking about this, but these are exemplary models of that, that to run major businesses, you don't have to strangle yourself with a tie. <laughs> there is… there is a norm in this country right now, unfortunately, that if you have to attend a boardroom, you will not be allowed to enter a board meeting without a tie and a jacket in India, okay? So I was speaking to certain group of uh, people who are in business in our insight. Every November we have a business meeting here with over two hundred CEOs. Uh, I was asking them, see, a CEO or a board… somebody who's in the board of a major company means we believe that he's a sensible man, man or woman, a sensible person who will take the right decisions because everybody's money has been invested, they will do the right things. 
but somebody who wears a jacket and a tie in forty degrees centigrade. <laughs> I don't see how he is a sensible human being. <laughs> so, what you're seeing here, I believe, is the future of India's business houses.